There's the boss of this uh, this uh, place. Maybe I'll take a run at him, but uh, it, it seems unlikely that uh, I will be able to defeat him. But I could at least show you. It won't cost me anything. After all, I've made an utter fool of myself already. What more can I look like? <sighs> yay, yay, yay. The Black Knight. I knew him well. He tore my units apart. It probably cost me my soul pile at some point when I didn't notice, but uh, I don't care. Don't care. I wasn't using the souls anyway. Level's high enough. This will never work. I rate my chances of coming out alive this time at being a uh, about a two, ten. About as bad as it can get, although with some small chance. Here we go. Hey, yeah, dude. Maybe not one on Maybe that would be a bad idea. Oh, wow. I... Did you see how much damage I caused? Because I didn't. It's kind of like fighting the uh, tutorial boss all over again when I didn't have a weapon. Stop flying! It's like the worst thing you can do at this point. You can generally avoid that attack if you just sit behind him. If it hits you though, you will suffer greatly. Yeah, I'm doing some nice damage here. hit him really hard and with all my might he might even feel it. Take that. I am the flea that will defeat you. I, I got no chance. None. Nothing. Z zero. Not a no way I'm coming out of this live. You are ugly. I missed. My my reach actually has trouble against this guy because he's so short. Oh, so, like, I'm so short and the only thing I can hit looks vaguely like I shouldn't be hitting it. Oh, damn it. This ain't good. No flying. Flying is bad. Like I could have uh, used a better weapon for this. Or more stats, or pretty much anything. Man! It's got good damage resistance to me. I think his attack pattern isn't exactly inspired. Oh. Quite tell what he was, which way he was facing that time. If 
I do take that explosion attack face on, I expect to get up again. For better or worse, that move is a killer. Even though it seems like I'm dodging it quite easily. Imagine if I had a real weapon. So it's there as a jack. Just the shockwave from it is enough to uh, negate parts of my health. I mean, hey, this would be fun if I could win, but I just don't see myself winning. I'm not doing enough damage. And when I am attacking, I'm usually attacking the air. Because that's too hard to reach his butt. What am I gonna do? Didn't actually see that one coming. Thought I dodged it somehow. I think there was some way. Me to get more hits in. That's not gonna help. Take that tail. Bad loop. Oh, wait, no, he's out of it. Uh, what am I gonna do? Kind of stuck here now. I can't leave the fight. I can't win the fight. having almost as much trouble as me in winning the fight, although he's starting to get it now. He's going to have a very sore tail in the morning. I could two hand my weapon. <laughs> oh well, I could wish for a lot of things at this point. Ow. Okay, now I'm in trouble. You are annoying. Here we go. Gotta be more game, I guess. Maybe aim for the words. Nope, didn't help. Gotta hit him as I fly by, I guess. Focus on more little attacks. Make them into big attacks.
he's not shifting backward while he's doing this. talking much, but uh, this is stressful. <laughs> this is immensely stressful. I'm having some trouble. Is there a knee? Are you an idiot player character? If I do succeed, it will somehow be from excessive damage to the very tip of his tail. Causing some sort of immense uh, irreparable brain damage. That's an interesting way to die. Death by uh, tail hemorrhage. such small crappy weapons and somehow still managing to 
get somewhere, or is this is this like foolishness on my part? person's opinion on the matter. I'm not sure I like him in that corner anymore though. Eventually he's going to get so close to that corner that I just won't be able to get around him. Doesn't look like he has much more in him though. Did I ever have trouble with this guy? I seem to remember like the first couple of times I played the game. This guy was pretty bad, but at the moment I'm starting to feel like, really? You're telling me with proper equipment you can't do this guy? And of course, I'm starting to brag now. I've triggered a death lag. Oh no! I'm doomed! <laughs> I literally can't win once I start the brag. Gotta calm down, gotta stop thinking I'll lose again. Then maybe I'll stand a chance. Look at my ugly mug. Damn it. This is of no use if I don't hit things. the lamest fight ever. <laughs> God damn it. Death by a thousand cuts it is. so lame. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. <sighs> but you get a Titanite slab, and that ain't bad. <sighs> Gods. 
That was a lot of punches. <laughs> I don't think I've ever punched anything that much in my life. I'm not even certain that's something I've ever tried to measure. But god, that was a lot of punches. <sighs> Still, it was enough punches. That's what I'm gonna go with. The Titanite Slab is what you need for the very last level of upgrade for lightning or normal weapons. And, uh, maybe raw weapons, I think? I don't think anything else takes regular Titanite as a uh, integral ingredient. You guys alive? Surely I killed you before I went down that hole. Oh wait, of course that's just the bonfire. Boo. I am smart. Oh well. Just before we cap this video there, maybe I'll think of some trades to do. Or I can do them off screen, it's not uh, terribly important. But I think uh, some of these are interesting. You, uh, you, give me. So one. For instance, give me. Uh, a thing I am not likely to use, which will give me a thing I am likely to use, be the skull end. Now, normally I could use the Skull Lantern in the Tomb of the Giants, but I think that's probably the worst way to do it. I'd even rather cast light than uh, the Skull Lantern. Uh, but I usually use the Sunlight Maggot because it's permanent and easy to use. So, if we put the Skull Lantern down... Drop it here. If, uh, if you put down something that they're not going to accept as a trade, like uh, the person will actually tell you about it. But anyway, just uh, quit the game, right where you are. You, you, give me warm. You'll see, give look, me uh, that soft. there, there's a new item there. The Ring of Fog. You can get that from the Forest Hunter Coven, but if you don't want to go through the whole online shenanigans required with that covenant, you can get one here. And the Ring of Fog is really cool. Even though it was kind of nerfed, uh, it's still useful in PV uh, situations. Because if you uh, equip it, I should be equipping it, not uh, doing strange things like that. Aha! Now I am very stealthy. Since I'm using fist weapons, I won't be able to gung ho everything. So being a bit stealthy might turn out to be a uh, unexpectedly good idea, because it'll keep certain enemies from aggroing all at once. I'll be able to sneak up on them and uh, deal with them uh, one at a time. So that's a good start. Uh, if you use the uh, sack item, which is uh, what we got off the butchers. You can trade it for the Demon's Great Hammer, which is the uh, item that I picked up in the tutorial by firebombing the boss. So, oh, well, it's in my bottomless box, but uh, I'm sure you can go remember it if in the original first video of this series. Uh, what else is there? You can definitely uh, trade uh, all uh, moss clumps. So. Things like Blood Red Moss Clump, Purple Moss Clump. If you trade them, I believe you get Twinkling Titanite. Uh, if you trade the Sunlight Metal, which is. there it is. Then I believe you get a White Titanite Trunk. Yep, that's right. This is also the place where you can use your rubbish. Did you pick up that piece of rubbish earlier? It has no other use. Just drop it here. Get in and out of the game. You give me one. Pick it up. 
finite chunk. Hooray! And there's a few other things you can trade here to get different things. Uh, I think that's enough of them now. The main thing I wanted was the Ring of Fog. Titanite Chunk is a good bonus. I don't need Twinkling Titanite at the moment, and there's a place to buy it later. Can't think of anything else I would uh, desperately want from uh, Snuggly at the moment. I won't use the Ring of Fog all the time, it, uh, it's kind of annoying to watch. Still, all is well. Seems like I managed to uh, get through the Undead Asylum in one go. I thought I would have to come back and deal with uh, the boss, but uh, nope. Seems like I was able to do it, albeit in an annoying and incredibly strange fashion. But what's done is done. I will remember you well, Black Knight, for all the pain and suffering you have caused me. I probably should have mentioned, and I probably did not, that uh, once I killed that Black Knight, I took the thing out of his cell, and that was the Peculiar Doll, which is uh, what you need to enter the uh, Painted World. The uh, entrance to the Painted World is in an area much later, so yeah, while it's good to have it right now, it was hardly necessary. And also, once you visit that area, you unlock an item that makes it much easier to move around the world, since you gain warp points. And once you gain warp points, it's easy to come back to places like the Undead Asylum, grab the Peculiar Doll, and then go back to that uh, area without any aggravation. Travelling is an aggravation limited to those who haven't been to Wonder yet. Once you go there, suddenly the world doesn't seem like such a bad place. But, uh, yeah, I think I've uh, wasted enough of everyone's time with that particular ridiculous, murderous, thousand-punching, bollocks move that was. Yeah, what was I saying? I'm sure I was saying something at the start of the sentence, but it's uh, long gone now. I think I need sleep, or caffeine, or caffeine and sleep, or maybe something else entirely. But right now, I think I've uh, earned my keep. So I'll just uh, end the video here, and next time we will be going back to the sewers, I promise this time. So see you then.